Hey everyone, it's Succulents Box. Today we're going to show you how to take care of Donkey Tail. Donkey Tail love bright light. They should be given at least five to six hours of bright sunlight in the morning and some filtered sunlight in the afternoon. Donkey Tail need full sun to thrive, but can't take intense heat. If your succulent's pot is warmer to the touch than usual, you should move it to the shade to protect it from the heat. The ideal temperatures for Donkey Tail to thrive are around 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Donkey Tail aren't cold hardy, so they need to be carried indoors when temperatures fall below 40 degrees. You should water your donkey tail moderately. Only water them when the soil is completely dry and be sure to give them a good soak. Many beginners find it tricky to water donkey tail, so when in doubt, remember it's best to underwater then overwater your succulent. You can also test the soil by sticking your finger about one and a half to two inches down into it. And if the soil is dry, it's time to water. Since donkey tail is more susceptible to rot, cactus mix is a great option. A one-to-one -one ratio of potting soil and perlite is also an easy solution. Porous materials like pumice or perlite are the perfect Propagating donkey tail is simple as they can either grow from a cutting or leaves. They drop leaves quite often so those leaves can grow babies under the mother plant. For a cutting, simply cut a bit off the stem and let it dry out and callus over. You can put it in soil and water it like the mother plant until they grow out new roots. Just remember it is important to allow the cutting to callus well before putting it in soil, otherwise it could rot. Repotting donkey tail can be tricky since they're very fragile. Preparing a new pot that's about 1 to 2 inches bigger will lead to the best results. Allow your donkey tail to soak slightly underwater as this will help the leaves hang on to the stems better. Use a soft cloth to wrap around the stems, tilt the pot, and gently tap the bottom to loosen up the soil. Slide the old pot off and gently place your plant and soil into the new pot. You can bury the leaves that fall off into the new pot so they can grow new babies after a few weeks. That's all for today. Hope you guys find these tips useful and we'll see you next time.